Well, I just watched the Pure Living for Life video saying they're going to go on grid. So I decided to uh, post a re little response here about it and uh, my idea is about off-grid and whether it's uh, a doable thing or it's not. So as you can see, we do have some solar. We are on grid. You look up there a ways, there is a wind turbine up there also. I lived off-grid for two years, or a little over two years. And, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, that's off-grid. That's the way we need to go. We need to go. Well, let's look at some hard truths about it. Well, I'm going to go back inside after feeding our real play chickens here. So on their video, they said they're going on grid. And I guess my response is, it took you long enough. How many times are you going to beat your head against the wall, fuel and generators, worrying about your solar panels and your crappy batteries before you say enough is enough. In my line of work, we install radio sites and we use solar on probably 80 to 90% of our sites. And there'll be some people that say, oh, solar's, you know, that's the way you need to go. It's so environmentally friendly and you know, all the free energy, nothing could be further from the truth. I lived off grid for two years, a little over two years let me tell you, it's no cakewalk at all. If you want any modern conveniences and you live in an area that gets clouds once in a while, which, you know, unless you're living in certain parts of Arizona or maybe California, most of the country you're going to be dealing with this issue of clouds, rain, everything that Jesse mentioned in his video. On sites that we install, we have to install enough backup battery system in that site to support it for probably up to 20 days without sun. Here in the Pacific Northwest that happens on a regular basis. Or in the case of radio sites, the panels get iced up. Even on sunny days, you're not going to get much power out of it. Can you imagine, I think the average household, I could be wrong about this, I haven't looked in a while, it seems like the average household goes through about 5 kilowatts a day, roughly. Now that's yeah, that's on the grid power. I don't know what the average is for off-grid, but you know, let's let's say it's two kilowatts a day, or even one kilowatt a day. Can you imagine a battery bank that will support a house for 20 days? I mean, the thing would be outrageously huge. Not to mention extremely expensive. So can you live off-grid? Certainly can. It's a drastic change in lifestyle you got to be prepared to cut back on stuff that you're so accustomed to, toasters, coffee makers, motors especially. Motors eat electricity like crazy. you got to cut back on all that stuff. Pumps, huge draw of power. Yes, it can be done. You have to alter your lifestyle drastically to get it done. So if you want modern conveniences, well, you're going to be running a generator. Yeah, I know. If you put a massive bank of solar panels in, on a sunny day, yeah, you can run all that stuff, you know. I'm just saying as a general rule, especially if you live in areas like here in the Pacific Northwest, that's not always an option. So you're going to have to have some other form of power when you want to run your pump, when you want to run your skill saw, when you want to run your toaster, you're not going to be able to run it off of a battery bank and expect to get any lifespan out of those batteries. Trust me, I've been doing this for a long time these solar systems and this up and down stuff with battery banks is what uh, will wipe them out. Most batteries when you're talking about solar systems they're basing their lifespan based on the amount of discharges and recharges, light, the cycles. When you start discharging batteries very deep like running toasters or coffee makers the deeper you discharge those the harder it is on that uh, that battery and pretty soon your batteries are going to be crap again. I told you we put those batteries on those sites to carry those sites for up to 20 days. After five years we replace them. Because the radios they're attached to 
are part of the public safety network. So you can't have a battery bank sitting out there that you don't really know if it's taking too many discharges or not. Yeah, in the house you can get by with probably a little longer than that, but if you start deep discharging those batteries, you're going to be replacing battery banks every five to eight years. I will say that some of their installation techniques and ideas behind batteries and such are not quite on base sometimes with Peer Living for Life. But I think he's pretty straightforward in saying he's not an expert in it. You know, he's kind of stumbling his way through it. And I think it, that's the way most people actually approach solar systems as they try and piecemeal it together with the funds they've got available. And then they're sadly disappointed with the results. The only time I've ever seen solar systems work correctly, especially on home use, one, they're oversized. So you're going to spend a ton of money installing the system in the first place. And second, they're in areas that have plenty of sun. Now, this area in the summer, we've got sun galore. You know, we can operate off of solar just fine. In the winter and fall, especially when you start getting moisture, cloud cover, they're just not going to be that efficient. They're not going to work. You're going to be running generators all the time. Trust me, I've been through this. When I lived off grid, the panels weren't as good as they are now, and they were a lot more expensive. The panels I showed you earlier, I'm just running my ham stuff here off of it uh, and the lights in this room. That's all I run off the solar. I don't try and run refrigerators or anything. It's more of a just kind of a backup for my ham stuff and some lights in the house because we do lose power out here for you know several hours at a time quite often it can be a couple days at a time so i've got things hooked up that i can run off the inverter so we've got it set up as kind of a backup system i've got about 3,000 amp hours of battery out there i can run the station the the ham gear here minus amplifiers and such just radios and lights you know for probably a week pretty easy. Would I want to try and run refrigerators and stuff off of it in the winter? No way. It, you're just going to run into trouble when you do it. So if you stumbled across our channel from the title, welcome. This channel is kind of dedicated to um, the rural living, ham radio. I do some mining videos. Um, going to start doing more homestead, homestead videos and woodworking. Don't forget woodworking and other fun things that we decided to do out here. We live out here on a little 40 acre plot out here in rural Oregon. Welcome. Think about subscribing and give us a like. I am going to do some videos about solar systems and, and wind power. Is wind power for you? Probably not. We're going to cover some of those subjects on some upcoming videos. It'll probably be a little bit before I get to them, a month or so. So remember to subscribe and catch those videos too. Uh, I'll think of her name here in a minute. Me and names just don't jive. Jesse and Alyssa, I think. You guys are making the right move, especially building that house. Your life will be so much easier not fueling generators all the time, fighting with solar all the time. And yeah, there'll be the naysayers out there that say, oh yeah, yeah, you guys just aren't doing it right. If you're trying to do an operation like they are, power will just make your life so much easier. Your stress level will go down. Trust me on this, I've been through it. Congratulations, you guys, for finally making the decision to ditch that system you've got and go on grid. Don't be ashamed that you did it. You know, keep your solar system, run something else with it, you know, put lights in your shed or you know whatever or even create a little backup system like I've got so in case you lose power you've got at least some essentials that you can run anyway thanks for watching guys and see you on the next one mm -hmm. You said you'd be alright 
Around the corner is another day Although I know that's a lie